everybody's good. My name is Phil Buck. I'm a public relations specialist for Tampa General Hospital. We have Karen McGinnis and Chris Aris, and they're here to answer your questions. But first, Karen had uh, something that she wanted to say. Yes, I just um, feeling a little bit of shock, so I'm going to try to get my message across clearly. I just first want to um, really thank the heroic efforts of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for stepping in and doing what they did, because had they not done what they did, we would be having a very different conversation right now um, and the fact that he's here at Tampa General and the quality of clinical care that he's getting from this track here at the hospital um, I'm just gr very grateful that um, we are alive we are alive Owen is alive and and we are going to um, recover from this with the help of all of you and I just want to also give a um, just a grateful thanks to the community at large. Um, prayer works. Father God, thank you so much for um, allowing us to be in this position and in, 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 a, in a part, a place where we're going to recover at this point. So thank you. Keep the prayers coming, please. Despite all that's happened, this is a good day. Yes, well, yes, it's a very good day. Very good day, yes, yes, thank you, Jesus. Tell me a little bit about, about, about your child. Uh, Owen is nine years old and in fact I was talking with Chad Cronstar earlier today and I was telling Chad that at some point I'd like to meet the deputies that saved Owen's life and he said we can absolutely set that up and he said Karen let me tell you something about your son though he was a hero because I've done this for a long time and children his age sometimes sit on the ground and they don't do what Owen did Owen was vigilant and he didn't give up and he was moving and he was trying to find his way out and he's my little hero he's my North Star he's my fighter I've taught him to fight. In fact, sometimes he fights too much. <laughs> um, but yes, he loves football. Um, he's my North Star. He saved my life many years ago. Um, and I'm just glad that he's still here with us. Tell me a little bit about, did you teach him about what you do in the event of a fire? Tell me a little bit. Um, you know, it's, if, if, you, if you go back to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office um, website or their Facebook link you can clearly see the video from what transpired I really don't want to go back into that right now because I've had to relive that multiple times today it's very traumatic for me um, but you can clearly see it on the video what what we went through last night how, but I mean, teach, uh, I was gonna say, how is Owen doing what kind of injuries does he have and describe the process now yes um, fortunately we um, are very pleased to hear that his injuries are not as significant as we thought they were going to be and the, and the medical team thought um, he does have second degree burns on his little face and on his right arm um, we are more concerned with the in in inhalation i think that's the term i'm sorry of the um, toxicity and the and the debris. The, the, the debris and the smoke um, so right now he is heavily sedated and he's very comfortable and he doesn't know what's going on and I want to keep him that way while they're cleaning the wounds and getting him to where he needs to be. They, they, they say that the next two days are the most critical. Yes. Um, you know, the swelling, it, the, the, it has a tendency to get worse before it gets better. Yes. So they're, uh, you, know, you know, they have him on a ventilator and keeping oxygen going to his lungs and making sure the swelling doesn't increase to where you know, there would be any issues with the uh, airways. So, you know, we're hopeful, you know, um, in a few, you know, they said possibly as early as Tuesday, he may come off the ventilator, you know, it'll, it'll be uh, a wait and see. You spoke about prayer. Yes. Getting you through this. Yes. 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 Yes, ma'am. Um, God is good. And, and for those who don't believe that, I encourage you to find him. Um, when I couldn't get the chair through the window last night and I tried so hard um, and the deputies finally came and got it and I got in the window and, and I don't remember everything all I knew was that I was pulled away and I immediately got on the ground on my knees and I said God please not today please God please please God and it felt like 20 minutes but it, I don't think it was that long maybe five minutes but all I could do was say please God please please take please don't take our son right now please give him back to us and he heard me and all of a sudden I heard someone say we got him we pulled him out and I said yes yes thank you Jesus thank you um, so yes, prayer works, keep it coming. I also want to say that my, so Chris is Owen's father. Um, we, we are separated. However, Roy Vaughn is my boyfriend. He lives in the house with me. Roy paid, played an intricate 
part in getting Owen out and helping the police officers. Uh, Roy is admitted here at the hospital as well with some heart condition um, and some high blood pressure and a lot of trauma. Um, so if everyone in the community could continue to pray for Roy. He, he said, you know, they say angels come to us in different mm. ways. Yes, George yes. Was last night. Yes, mm. yes, because Roy was sleeping on the couch and something told him to wake up. Something tapped him and said, wake up. And he wake, woke up and he looked out the window and he said, man, it's awfully bright out there. And he looked out and it was a fire. And it wasn't a little fire, it was a big fire. The barn was on fire and he screamed, Karen, get up! The barn's on fire, get up, call 911. And, and had it not been for that angel, whoever that was that tapped Roy, we, again, would be having a very different conversation right now. Karen, I know you said that you don't want to get too deep into it, but from that moment where he sees the fire in the barn to that moment where you're at a, with a chair at the window, I mean, do you mind sharing a little bit about what happened between them? I, I, I was in complete shock. I didn't know that. I. I it was just complete shock. It's something that I thought was really neat now that I'm looking back at hindsight. I remember when that process was happening, there was a car outside going beep, 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 like wake up, who's in the house? Wake up, wake up. And there was a lot of people outside. Um, and, and I just had never seen anything like that before. And I was in shock and I'm still in shock. Um, and just trying to scurry and, and, and figure out what door to go out of. And we have an Austrian shepherd, Lily. Um, she got out safely. We have a potbelly pig in the backyard. His name's Willie, he's safe. Um, and just trying to scurry and figure out who's in the house. What, where do I need to go? What avenue do I need to take? Um, you know, on the phone with 911 and just not coming from a, a, a sleep, coming from a deep sleep and waking up to that. That's not something you ever imagine that you would have to endure. So it's very hard. It's very challenging. Did you get out of the home and realize, oh my gosh, are we still inside? Yes, I had escorted Lily out and then, um, well, not really out of the house. Um, it's, it's, I got Lily out and then the entrance that was closer to Owen's room was, was not accessible. So I had to go to his window and I had to find a chair that I had to use to get in through that measure. And that was the part that keeps playing back in my head because I couldn't break the window and all I could hear him saying was mommy 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 and I couldn't get him you know and that's the part that is very traumatizing and I get it you know I, I work in mental health and I know that both Owen and I and Chris and my family I know that we're all going to have symptoms of trauma at some point um, and and there's good resources in the community and people that are going to be able to guide us through that you talk about your son being your hero in They did, yes, and, and Chris actually went to the house today from the window that they pulled him out of and there was a Holy Bible sitting right there. Um, same window. In the same window, which <laughs> to the to your, yes, yes, they pulled him out of the window. You, you said, you said he's, he's always been your hero, he saved your life. So yes, yes, absolutely, um, and I'm very proud to speak of this today. I'm a woman in recovery. Um, I battled substance abuse for over two decades of my life. Um, when I had Owen, he was the catalyst that allowed me to change my life. So I always refer to him as my North Star. Um, and I work now in the field of mental health. I work for American Addiction Centers. I place people in treatment nationwide that are battling drug and alcohol addiction. Um, I do a lot of work in the community. Um, in fact, Tampa General is one of my accounts. I work a lot with the social workers and case managers here. But Owen saved me. He's the, he's the one. He's the one that, that opened my eyes and allowed me to become the woman that I am today. He's been a hero at first. He's been a hero at first. He will always be my hero. Yeah, when you watch about back the body cam footage, they break the window. Yes. You can hear him in the footage. Yes. In there. Yes. How frustrating was it like to hear him he's so close. Yes. But yeah. you couldn't see him. Yes. That smoke was so thick. Yes. Yes. He was very close and it was very disturbing and it was very challenging because at one point, you know, I'm feeling for him and saying, oh, come to the light, come to mommy's voice, come to the voice. Um, and then at some point someone pulled me away and that's when I had to, I was in the grass. And then I understand that the, the first responders still continued to diligently search for him. And it went on for minutes and minutes and minutes. And I, I had blocked it out and I was one with Christ at that point and, and talking to him very in depth, getting. I'm sure you've got a lot of people that you want to be grateful and thankful. Yes. Uh, the, the, those first responders, 
they, they, they got to be first for your list. Yes, yes, they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. If it wasn't, like I said, if it wasn't for them, we would have be having a very different conversation. They put their necks on the line as Hillsborough County Sheriff's officers to, to do what they did and not lollygag and not wait for the fire department. They, they acted and they responded and they did what they were supposed to do. Well, I, obviously we don't live together, so I, 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 normally at that time I'd be asleep, and for some reason I was, I was up watching TV, and I, uh, and I heard my phone ring, and, and it was 11 o'clock at night, and usually my phone doesn't ring at 11 o'clock at night, and um, I, I answer, and it's, uh, it's his his grandmother, and, and uh, it wasn't I knew something wasn't right, and uh, immediately I answered the phone, and, and, and she told me that uh, Owen, you know, the, what had happened with the, the fire and that uh, Owen had been brought to the hospital. Um, I didn't really, in, at first it sounded like it was just some minor smoke inhalation. Um, but when I got here, uh, you know, I, I, it was a, a whole different uh, story. I, I uh, um, uh, you know, I was met you know, and, and told that I needed to see the, the chaplain when I got here, which uh, immediately I kind of put me in a panic mode. Um, but they told me, you know, he was going to be okay. Um, and so far, I mean, uh, the, the level of care has been uh, amazing here. They really, um, you know, going above and beyond to, to be, explain everything and, you know, to be real with, you know, what, you know, what's, what's going on, what could go on and, you know, and, and, and I appreciate that, you know, um, especially being a parent. You know, it's just, uh, it's very uh, traumatizing. You know, I, I, I um, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just so grateful. You know, and the reason I wanted to you know, encourage her and myself to speak to the media today, because, you know, you know, heroes need to be recognized. Like these guys were heroes. <laughs> it wasn't for them, like someone would be dead. It was like within minutes, he was going to be. He wouldn't have made it, and and you know, and too all too often we talk about the bad, and I and I feel like it's very important that we talk about our heroes, and the, and the police are good, and they they you know they, they saved my son's life, and, and I'm I'm so grateful. Yes. You know, you came away, the most important things got out of there, all lives saved. Yes. Uh, but there's a lot of damage. You, yeah. you know about the, is it a total loss? It is a total loss. We had multiple we had multiple vehicles. The house was 110 years old. Excuse me, the house was 110 years old. Um, it withstood since 1910, and it served many purposes, um, and, and now it's no longer. So the house is a total loss. We have multiple vehicles. It's a total loss. Um, How long you live there? Um, we moved there right before COVID hit, so we were able to live there during COVID and really make it our home. And we have big plans for that house, but um, at this point, house cars, this, this is what I want to emphasize as well like I, I've all I'm very humble and I understand that things can be taken away from you very quickly and and this is a very stark reminder that stuff is stuff um, that Louis Vuitton bag that I wanted is like <laughs> really no no my dog my family my my life we will survive this we will move forward we will we will be resilient you know we will move forward You've got everything you need we have everything we need you see all the damage that was caused, the fact that everyone made it out alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's um, Chris went by there today and took some pictures of the house, and um, it was very challenging and hard for me to look at. Um, you know, everything's to a Chris pretty much. Um, knowing that what I saw in the flames and how quickly it spread through the house is, is um, just devastating and to know that we all walked away from that just in the nick of time um it just blows me away when you look at something going through something so horrible the worst night becoming the greatest blessing of all what do you what's the takeaway what do you once you look back at all of this what is the takeaway? cherish every moment and live in today yes yes and live every day like it could be your last and and you know Yes. always remain grateful yes and and another thing something that is very profound to me is the enormous amount of 
I didn't realize how much people in the community loved me and loved Owen and are here for us and they're already um, you know offering clothes and, and things of that nature because we I have um, what I'm wearing is what I have and and um, just to see the generosity in, in my some of my bestest friends and people that I haven't talked to in years reaching out just the community at large we thrive better in packs and this is an opportunity for us to work together and people to help each other and Given this day and age with all the conflict and polarization, that you must know, feel good that you understand that the people do, there's good people. Oh, there's good people. Yeah. Yes, there's bad people and there's good people. And I think that there's bad people that still have <clears throat> some little mustard seed of good in them. They it's just got to pull it out of them. It's important that we know, you know, the police are good people. They yes. do good things. We yes. all too often talk about, you know, too much of the negative And I, I feel like, you know, you know, heroes. When, when 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 people act as heroes, as these men, you know, they they risk their lives. Uh, you know, they were telling me how hot the fire was and how like if they took one breath, it was literally choking them. And yet they would they would go and they would choke and then catch their breath and come back and continue to yes. search for him. And you know, just yes. you know, it, it, it's just that you know that's what we need to talk more about, you know, yeah. you know, well, and that's, you know, well, they didn't say you, you know, I know, as a mother, you were going to go in there. And I was, them. yes, oh, yeah. they did. And they pulled me back, you know, and, and I was, I was going to go in there and, and yes, yes. That's a whole nother thing I've got going on oh, as a yeah. mother. Um, in the video, she's being dragged out of the window with broken shards yes. all around it. And yes. I'm like, uh, <laughs> and you know what I think is pretty, pretty interesting too. I was telling my mom and I was telling a couple people today that, Never did I think this would happen to me, but oftentimes when I see in the media or on the news that, you know, we had a, a, a fire last night in Carrollwood and unfortunately the family didn't make it out. I always think to myself, like, how did you not make it out of that fire? Like the house is on fire, just grab your stuff and go. And now having been lived it, the smoke, the the fastness yeah. and the quickness of how it spreads and the, the lack of quick thinking and, and all of those things, the factors that go into it, I can understand now how people die. So they have the correct spelling. Okay. Yes. Let's get the full spelling of both your names and uh, again. Okay. Uh, uh, Chris C H R I S uh, Aris uh, A R E S. Uh, Karen, not a Karen. <laughs> McGinnis. Um, K A R E N. Last name is M C G I N N I S. Owen. Owen Aris. O W E N. Last name A R E S. I do. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, you know, what school does he attend? He attends Apollo Beach Elementary. It's a grade A school and he thrives there and does very well. Plays football, you say? He does. He, he loves football. Loves he football. loves football. He I made a joke with, with Chronister. I said, uh, to tell Brady to come by and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's. Yeah. I'm, I'm a huge football fan, and this kid knows more about yes, every team, the NFL every... than I, I even, I, at the time, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, where is he getting this from? <laughs> uh, he told me the other day he wants to play football. <laughs> yeah, he did say play football. He's told me multiple things, but football, and I'm like, can you just he, do baseball, please? He said he wanted to go to the University of Florida, he wanted to be a football player. Yes, and he will. <laughs> yes. Yes, McGinnis, M C G. I N N I S. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Keep on praying. I'll just get you back in there. Okay. Is that all right? Thank you. Who else is inside the house? There's a kid inside. Where's he at in the house? He's in there. Owen! In his bedroom. Where's he at? In his bedroom. Where did, where did you just break that window with? Right here. Owen! Watch, Owen. Your, watch your face.